So as you can see, I'm starting off with my bare face and I've already cleansed and moisturized my face. So the next step that I'm gonna do is prime my face before applying foundation. And at the moment, I've been absolutely obsessing over the Nivea Men Aftershave Balm. And um, Nikki Tutorial is just such a wonderful person for introducing this to us and I think after this I'm not going to be purchasing any more other expensive or pricey primers. So I used it in the sensitive version and I love this so much that uh, when I saw the cooling version of the balm I was like I have to give this a try because especially it's summers right now it's super hot at the moment and even the sensitive one feels quite cool and nice on the face but the cooling one feels so much more cooler and it just feels very refreshing whenever I apply this to my face and yeah um, smell wise uh, the cooling one is much more manly smelling but I don't really mind that because it fades away after about 2-3 to three minutes so it doesn't last very long Consistency and texture wise they are absolutely similar It's just that this one feels a lot more cooler on the face Next I'm going to go in with my foundation And today I'm using the L'Oreal Magic Nude Liquid Powder Foundation This is basically a liquid foundation and it just has a very matte texture to it So it's called a liquid to powder finish foundation And this foundation has been lying in my drawer throughout the winters Because it has like kind of a matte texture or matte formula oh my god I just took out so much of the product I hate the fact that this does not come with a pump so I always end up you know uh, taking out too much stuff and anyways I'm just going to blend that in between my fingers oh yeah and with this foundation it works best with fingers and yeah I love using this foundation during the summers because it's so lightweight it feels like water really and it just glides on so easily on the skin it's so easy to blend this and in spite of being so lightweight it gives quite a decent amount of coverage to my skin and I feel like it just makes my skin look so much more better while making it still look like skin that makes sense so yeah it just doesn't look like skin but it also feels like skin like once you have it on and once it's nicely blended and set it to the skin you will not feel that you're wearing anything on your skin it feels really soft and smooth and the texture feels very 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 skin like i'm just going to blend out the foundation Next I'm taking my concealer and today I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand. So I've been using this concealer like so often these days. I think for almost all of my tutorials in the past one or two months I've been using this concealer religiously because the consistency of this is really creamy and it's just so smooth and nice. So I basically like using this under my eyes and also on the bridge of my nose on the center of my forehead, a little bit on my cupid's bow and also oops <laughs> along the sides of my nose. I think I got too much there. And I also take a little bit on the center of my chin. And then I'm going to just blend all of that concealer with this uh, sponge by Real Techniques. I think it's called their complexion sponge. And I've just wet it and squeezed out all the excess water and now I'm just going to pat it over the concealer and blend that away and why I absolutely love using this Maybelline concealer as a highlighting concealer is because the texture of it is very creamy and smooth so it just blends in so well into the skin and you know how we apply highlighters under the eyes so I try to stay away from concealers that can be dry because it can really enhance uh, the dry patches under the eyes so that is one reason why I absolutely love the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So I'm just patting it over and blending all of that away. Next I'm going to take a face powder and set all of that base in place. And today I'm going to use my oops, Laura Mercier Translucent Face Powder. And you guys won't believe it but I am the most clumsiest person ever because look at this. Can you see that? I just dropped this powder like about 10 times or something and now this cover is almost half broken. There's only half piece of the cover left. Okay, so I'm just going to dip the sponge right into the pot because as you can see, there's no other option. And I'm using the flat portion of the sponge. I really love this flat portion for just patting on the powder over the concealer. 
So as you can see, I'm applying a lot of powder because uh, I'm kind of going for that baking technique. And that is the technique where you apply loads of loose powder over your concealer and that just helps to kind of really set the concealer in place so that it does not move or budge the entire day. But as you can see, I have hooded eyes and I always end up with my concealer getting creased on my eyelid. So I like to pack on quite a bit of powder over my eyelids. Now I'm going to move on with the eyes and I'm just using my Maybelline palette and I'm taking this darkest brown eyeshadow to fill in my brows. Oh, and by the way, I'm using the Real Techniques Angled, what is it called? Brow brush. So I'm just filling in the blank areas and just making my brows look much more fuller. And I'm just kind of following the natural shape of my eyebrows. And now comes the most fun part about this look and that is the eyeliner. And as you can see, I haven't even taken it out from the packaging. Like I just discovered this eyeliner yesterday and I was really kind of disappointed with myself for not having discovered this earlier because I didn't even know such a beautiful color eyeliner existed until now. So this is the Lacme Absolute Gel Addict Eyeliner in the shade Deep Sea. It's the super gorgeous cobalt blue eyeliner. It comes with a brush applicator on top of the lid and yeah I think it's very practical because you don't have to like carry a separate brush especially when you're traveling and stuff. So yeah, I'm just going to draw medium line over my eyelids. So I'm just going to speed this process up because I don't want this tutorial to be like super long but if you're interested in seeing how I get that perfect winged eyeliner then I've done a whole video tutorial on it which I'm going to leave somewhere in the card up here. So click on that if you're interested to see how I do my winged eyeliner. So the eyeliner is done and now I'm just going in with a pair of lashes and these are like super natural looking lashes. I think I got it from Thailand and I'm only using them because my eyelashes are super sparse. So if you have already thick lashes then you can just add some mascara but I'm going in with my false lashes. So before popping these on I'm just going to curl my eyelashes because my natural lashes are not only sparse but they are super straight. Like they go downwards like that so I need to curl them before applying my false lashes. And then go ahead and pop these lashes on. I'm just going to coat my lashes with the mascara and what I'm trying to do is I'm just kind of blending my natural lashes with the false ones so yeah just apply some mascara to the lashes I totally love using uh, V1 mascara by Oriflame on my bottom lashes since my memory card got full, I had to transfer all of the stuff onto my laptop and it takes some time. So what I did is I just got myself a nice warm hot cup of chai. Oh, I love, love, love Indian chai. Especially these dark ones where you add in a lot of um, tea leaves. And then I also like to add one pinch of my Everest masala tea that is no, not masala tea, I think it's called tea masala or masala tea, masala chai. I don't remember, but yeah, absolutely love masala chai. So now that the eyes are done, I'm going to move on to the rest of my face. And today I'm going to use my Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. Like I'm taking it with my Eco Tools Deluxe Fan Brush, and I'm going to place that under my cheekbones here. So just take the fan brush and brush that bronzer onto the sides of your cheeks and I absolutely love this um, deluxe fan brush because it just makes the job of bronzing or contouring so much easier like this is like my holy grail brush so as you can see I'm also taking the bronzer a little bit on the sides of my forehead and on my hairline up here lastly I'm also going to take the bronzer under my jawline this is just going to kind of contour my double chin and make it look much more chiseled and sharp. Mixed with whatever is left on the brush, I just like to take that along the sides of my nose. 
Alright, so now it's time to add some blush and I'm going to take my MAX, um, what is this called, Pure Power Blush. So yeah, I'm just sweeping the blush along the apples of my cheeks. As usual, I'm going in with my all-time favorite highlighter by The Balm. This is their Mary Luminizer. And I need to be super careful with this because look at that. This is not the first time I dropped it. I dropped it once before and I tried fixing it that time and it got fixed. It was all good and then I dropped it again. And now I'm not even going to bother fixing it anymore. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my small elf fan brush. And I'm going to gently sweep that on top of my cheeks right here. And this fan brush is so amazing for applying highlighters because it just spreads the product so well like you don't have those streaks or um, you know distinct lines anymore with this it really does a great job in making the highlighter look much more natural and seamless I'm also taking it under my brows like so and then I'm also going to take some of this on my cupid's bow because that is just going to make your lips look full and nice and then a little bit on the bridge of my nose just to highlight it and to make it look a little bit more sharper if that makes sense next I'm taking the highlighter in a small tiny eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to place that on the tear duct area because I totally love doing this it just gives that really nice um, highlight to the eyes Lastly for the eyes, I'm taking my NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade Media. This is basically a concealer pen or pencil. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to line my lower waterline with this. So lastly, it's time for the lips. And I had absolutely no idea what color would go with this eyeliner. So I had picked out like about three to four lipsticks here. So I tried all of them and I kind of came down to two lip colors so I'm going to put both of them and you guys decide which one looks better so the first um, shade that I'm going for is um, this one by Sugar Cosmetics and it is their It's About Time lipstick in the shade Matte Magenta so as the name suggests it's a beautiful fuchsia shade so I'm just going to apply that so this is what the pink fuchsia magenta shade looks like and I think it looks quite nice, it looks really bright and colourful and I think the two colours, the blue and the pink, they kind of complement each other because both of them are cool toned shades. So what do you guys think? I actually really love how this looks. So next I went in with my Rimmel Apocalypse Lip Lacquer in the shade Stellar and this is a gorgeous coral shade that has kind of orange undertones to it and it's kind of the warm tone this color also kind of really uh, complements this eye color and I feel um, this color combination gives that really nice tropical sort of feel to the whole makeup look so I think this is also a perfect um, lip option for cobalt blue eyeliners so I guess that's it for now and I really hope you guys have a wonderful week ahead so I'll see you guys in my next video and until then take care and bye